Metro Transit currently has 159 electric trolleys on 14 routes. Those buses are reaching the end of their useful lives, and Metro may need to order replacement buses before the end of 2012. Here's a look at the current status of those trolleys. Mike Eads is the vehicle maintenance supervisor at Metro's Atlantic base, home base for the entire fleet of electric trolley buses. These mechanics and technicians are experts at keeping the trolleys running. The two things they do really well is climb hills and don't pollute. In order to operate a trolley, we need a what we call a propulsion system. And this is a 1970s analog computer. It's in the back of all the 4100 trolleys. This is our 12-volt, what we call run box in the back here. So this is 1970s technology that are operating the trolley. It tells the trolley how fast to go, how to slow down. We use dynamic braking through the electric motor. And all those signals, the brake signal, the signal from the accelerator, the signal from the parking brake, the chairlift, all go through this and tell the trolley what to do. As you can see, these are very old circuit boards here. This is solid state technology. And in order to repair these boards, because we can't buy these parts anymore, we've actually had to install jumper wires on many of them to, to do the repairs. Again, this is solid state technology. And if we look at a board that hasn't been repaired, it looks more like this. This board was built in the um, about 2000 when we put the old propulsion system in a new bus. The problem with this is technology progresses. This is what a new board would look like, or a newer board. This is actually old technology also. But you see the difference in size of the components. So when one of these components fail, we have to try to replace it with one of the new style components, which is much smaller. And it is very difficult to do. And we're at a point now where we're going to have to redesign some of these boards, if not the entire propulsion system, because nobody builds analog computers anymore. Those are over 40 years old. We expected the bus to run for 12 years. 10 years later, we're looking at, can we extend the life anymore? And the problem is getting electronic parts. Our mechanics here have done an outstanding job keeping these things running, our mechanics and our electronic technicians. We're on the inside of a 1990 articulated trolley. And this is a 20-year-old bus. And what we're seeing are, are uh, stress fractures appearing above the rear door right here. And what this is eventually going to lead to, remember this is a 20-year-old bus, is water leaking into the bus through the roof. We're watching these. Some are worse than others. And it's quite an expensive repair.